Megalex is a graphic novel writing by Alejandro Jodorowsky and drawn by Fred Beltran. This is a story of science fiction and futuristic fantasy with the classic extravagant touches of the Chilean writer. On this occasion, Alejandro Jodorowsky would join his talent with Fred Beltran to set in motion another epic science fiction adventure. Fred Beltran, born in France in 1963, after failing his baccalaureate and a brief period at the Met Workshop in Penningen and at the Superior School of Graphic Art in Paris, did his first graphic works in the field of illustration, animation and architecture, and in 1985 he created his first comic book, The Blue Pyramid, a story with Mobius influences that remained unpublished. In 1990, his first album, The Belly of the Minotaur, appeared published by Les Humanoid Associates and he also participated in several collective albums for the same publisher. In 1995, he was part of the group of European authors contracted by the important Japanese publisher Kodansha, for whose magazine Comic Morning he created the character of Nina. At the same time, he began experimenting with computers to create his illustrations, which would mark a style that would fit perfectly with Megalex. And this comic book series would become a reality when he met Alejandro Jodorowsky in 1997. Jodorowsky explores the theme of nature versus machine. In a story, as is usual in many of his works, the characters embark on a journey that transforms them. Megalex is a planet on which there is a war between the biotechnologists and the ancient civilization of the planet, which used to be called Giradios, the technological powerhouse ruled with an iron fist by the royal family composed of the undead king Jod, Queen Maria, and the beautiful princess Kabata. Only two parts of the world escape their authority, enchanted forest and the Deadly Sea. In Megalex there are several laws, compulsory drug addiction, prohibition of any kind of work, prohibition under penalty of death of any biological conception since only procreation via test tube is authorized. Megalex is filled with clones and drug workers. After 400 days of service, these clones are eliminated and new ones are born. But the clones, before their death, realize their impending fate. They rebel against the system. In the midst of the revolt, a new clone emerges, called Anomaly, and later receives the name Ram. This clone has genetic defects, he is basically larger than the rest of the clones, and generates a desire to escape from Megalex. On board a ship, an AI being named Chalice discovers him and flees the ship alive. He is assisted by Adama, a beautiful woman from the labyrinth in the bowels of Megalex, created before the age of antigravity. They hitch a ride on a kind of enormous intelligent crocodile. They go deep into the labyrinth and meet some tribal chief. Meanwhile, military chiefs draw packets of a kind of food that the inhabitants are able to transform into any kind of dish they want. But the rebels in the labyrinth plan an attack on one of the military complexes, which in turn enrages King Odd and Queen Maria. Adama and Ram are drawn into it, with Princess Kabata playing a key role in the story, as well as a hunchback named Syrian, who sprouts wings and declares war on Megalex. The series was released in three volumes, The Anomaly in 1999, the Humpbacked Angel in 2002 and the Herd of Kabata in 2008. The third volume has a more traditional graphic style, although it lost that characteristic computer-generated images and a certain continuity with the first two volumes. Even so, the great work 
of drawing and beautiful color treatment can be appreciated. Megalex is a truly special piece in the list of Alejandro Jodorowsky's creations, maybe not as action-packed as the Metabarons or the Transcendence of the Ink Hall, but like its predecessors, it is a story that captures the reader's interest with memorable characters that lead you to immerse yourself in that city exquisitely illustrated by Fred Beltran. Many might think that a comic with computer-generated images would detract from the personality of the story with generic images, but this case is quite the opposite, perfectly accompanies the futuristic setting and gives it a unique touch with a masterful handling of color by the French artist. This is a graphic novel for anyone who enjoys the outstanding and eccentric stories of Hodorowsky with extraordinary art provided by Beltran.